We're speaking with Phil Striebel, market strategist at RJ Futures, and we'll be looking at how gold is faring here after the much-anticipated talk by Fed Chair Janet Yellen. He joins us now from the floor of the CME. Phil, good to see you. Well, thanks for having me. So, Phil, before Janet Yellen's talk, gold was trading slightly higher. It's uh, down here now as we're talking. How do you see the metal set up after uh, the Fed's uh, chair's remarks that struck a generally positive tone, tone on the U.S. economy despite Friday's weak jobs report here, Phil? Yeah, I was really surprised. I mean, I thought she would have been a little bit more concerned about it, but it doesn't look like there's much concern at all. So we're seeing gold prices kind of react a little bit negatively towards it. It seems like it's hanging on to, you know, each comment that she's making. She really came out and, and talked about how a lot of people were actually voluntarily leaving their jobs. That's why we saw that weaker uh, report. And then they're going to take the time to look for a better job because there's a lot of opportunities out there. So I think that they're still on for a rate hike. It just maybe paused a month or two. So we got Yellen's take on the numbers from Friday. What, but what did you make of this data, Phil? The non-farm payrolls, you know, show two very different numbers. The numbers of jobs created came in far below estimates, but the unemployment rate came in at a healthy 4.7%. How do you see it? Uh, I, th I thought it was really interesting. I thought coming into the number that 1201, we held kind of the 1200 area, and then we just got this blast off from here. And, I, you know, it was really good. It, it cleaned a lot of the stops out, got that market back up. 1250, I think, is going to be another one of these dividing lines where we've really got to get back above that. Then that 1265 level, that's that bottom of that, that massive range that we had where we were trying to push over 1300. So we do have some headwinds here and there. The only thing is I think that the Fed they are really on track and they're really positive that they're going to raise rates it just seems like it's delayed right now so I wouldn't be surprised to see gold going and going to a consolidation area around here okay so you see this consol consolidation happening until the next FOMC here in June coming up well, I think it's going to be until we see that bre that Brexit, that's that next vote. I think it's on the 23rd. That's going to be, uh, I think, your next big, you know, political uh, event that, that occurs. The, the Fed meeting, I really, I don't think they do anything here. We saw that those uh, probabilities fell down, down drastically. But, I, you know, I think gold, again, stays range bound. I think we stay over that 1,200, but I don't think we're going to go back up to 1,300. So what do you do as an investor here, Phil? Should you just wait it out now? Well, I mean, if you were in any trouble on that last sell-off that we saw, I think you got to, you know, when you're on the long side, you might want to lighten up, might want a position because, like I said, I think the Fed will raise rates. If you're a new guy coming in, you know, I think maybe you sell put options below the 1,200 level, uh, something where you're using it to acquire positions or you wait for that back off uh, to buy. I think that the intermediate trend, it's still going to be up, but it's going to be more of this kind of grinding higher until this occurs. All right, Phil, thanks so much. Thank you. And thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow when technical analyst Jim Wyckoff joins us on Kickles Gold Report.